Hi there, Bring a Trailer. Welcome to St. Louis. I'm Philip here with Hyman Limited. We're going to take a closer look at this 1988 Ferrari 328 GTB. The 328 came out in 1986. Over the production timeline, they made about 7,400 of them. And of those 7,400, only 18% of the cars built were a Berlinetta like this. Very special car. Some notable features that they changed because Ferrari loved what they were doing. The 308 was well loved. They revised the front grille. So modernized it a little bit. And then also up here, they moved the vents from behind the headlights to here on the top front lid. Coming around to the side, they updated some of this profile here, changed the side markers, and you'll notice that the wheels look very similar to a 308 but were modernized for the 328. The side profile is basically completely intact as a 308. There were a few things added. They updated the door handle here to make it a little easier to use, but they of course kept all the beautiful satin detailing. You've got the spoiler and of course the legendary flying buttresses. Under the rear deck lid is the 3.2 liter 4 cam V8. You can see the engine bay is nicely detailed. This car has been well serviced as we'll see later. Uh, of course, this was an increase from three liters to 3.2 on the 328. They also increased bore and stroke and the compression ratio all to get there, which came to a new top horsepower of 270 by comparison to 240. Ferrari guys will appreciate this. The zipper is intact. Back here, got a trouble light. This is really clever. It's got a magnet on the back. Of course, that goes to your cigarette lighter. Got books in the correct leather wallet. A canister for the spare fuses and bulbs. Correct jack in the bag, spare belts. Also a wheel wrench. Nice tool roll, which looks to be complete. Oh, and here's something you don't see in the back of 328s very often. A platinum award. It's very difficult for a a later Ferrari to achieve. And this car has been really well documented. The second owner bought the car in the 1990s and has receipts throughout his ownership. You can see here, it's been serviced by Miller Motor Cars for years and years. Again, well documented car. As you can see here, the interior is as nice as the rest of the car. Very good original stuff. Natural tan leather seats. You can see bolster wear as you'd expect on a car with 25,000 miles. Headliners in very good shape. I always love these lights. Very cool design work from the 80s. Gauge cluster is in nice shape there. You can see just shy of 25,000 miles. Another fun note on these 328s is that these orange gauges are inspired by the 288 GTO. It's actually also brought on the revision in the console here. In the front of the car is a correct space saver spare wheel. And you can see even this area is just as nice as everything we've seen on the car. The yellow paint on this car is largely original. A couple touch-ups here and there that are really hard to see in this light. You have a couple dimples here underneath the latches. And then of course, under that front strut, 
very common things to see on 308s and 328s. Let's see a couple minor touch-ups here in the front, which again, I don't know that the camera will even see them. Very superficial. There was a paint blend done on this front left fender, which there were some chips that they wanted to address so that paint blend was done to take care of that.